hi i had to change over phones and this is your second month i don't know what's going on with these damn phones girl. there's so many so much footage in these phones i got about three phones floating around here with nothing but videos in them okay so here we go number two And in your second hexagram, your second hexagram is all about relationships and changes. The relationships and changes that you're going to be see coming in, it's really going to set you on a new path. I think finally you see that you do want someone that's established. And if they're not established, they know who they are. They know where they're going. They're responsible. That's the type of mate that you're going to be in. So if you think it in October, you're going to see it, feel it, and you're going to see them. That's what's going to be coming. This responsible partner, this person has a very, very, very good job and is looking to have another child, possibly. Now, don't don't feel like when you meet this person that they're not for you. See what they have to say. Now, they can come off a little bit judgmental. They can come off a little raw, but that doesn't have anything to do with it. So, you're going to be dealing with two things in that second hexagram, this relationship, and if you want to deal with it, and some type of money matters that's going to be going on. I do see you celebrating some type of new job opportunity. I do see you falling in love before the year is out, and I do see you having two incomes before the end of the year so that's what you're going to be dealing with in the second time frame finally making the decision the man's going to come in and then you're like i don't know if i want it then the job's going to come in so you're basically going to be presented with every area of your life where you need to say a yes okay and then by the month's end you're going to be seeing an extra income coming if you had not already gotten it so that's number two so this is your number three And here's your number three. And your number three, uh, I do see another person that's coming in. This does show this person is going to be number one in your life. I do feel like but before the end of the year, you're going to be doing some type of traveling locally with this individual, which you're going to have a good time. Spiritually, you need to let more come into your life through thought. Don't be so physical about everything. Use your faith in what you want to do, okay? Also, think you always have money on your mind, and there's nothing wrong with that. I do see another opportunity coming in for you, but I see this opportunity could take take some time this is the type of position that could take some time but i do see it's something that you would love to do but the opportunity is there so don't put love before this opportunity at this time now you you will have this individual around don't think so much that you're going to leave them behind to pursue this because this is a dream job for you that you will like you're going to see some results of that by the end of the third month as far as results or answers or callbacks or interviews this is a dream position for you but the two weeks before that this relationship is going to be gathering itself together finances are going to be coming up i do keep seeing you move in November. I don't know if it's this year or next year, but it's saying November. Okay, that was your number three. And so here's your number four. Okay, with that number four, you're going to be thinking about, you're going, I mean, you just think too much about things you drag with it. When I say drag with it, I don't know what I want to do. If I want to go A, B, B, C, that's where all these areas of your life are coming your way. So you can go, they've been presented to you in the most beautiful way because it's time to go to that next level of your life, okay? Agreements and commitments and love and new monies. That's really going to be coming into your life in that fourth month and possibly somebody on the side if you want to play games. But yes, I do see commitment. I see commitment. I see you being in charge of something between you and this individual. But when it comes down to love between you and this individual, it will be a change for you and your situation totally. This person that's going to come in is going to change things for you totally. He is a gentleman. He is a gentleman. He's very good. Damn funny. It's going to look funny as hell, girl. He's going to have you cracking the hell up. He is funny. One thing he doesn't like is goodbyes. And one thing that he doesn't like is to keep dragging things on over and over again. And he, he likes to be sure in relationships. Communication is his thing. You want to lose him, stop communicating, get real child. She'll be gone quick. Just remember I told you that. He is funny, but he got it together. That's the person you need. And I, I'm, I'm not trying to be funny. This person is somebody that can help support what you're thinking. You know, the areas of your life, career, love, ultimate job, dream job, all these things are coming. He's going to help support that for you. And you need that. So keep on going with him. That's your fourth. This is your fifth month. Stay with him. Don't let him intimidate you. That loud ass laughing. And he loves to damn cook. 
something about ham, honey. There's something about ham with this man. He can cook. He can cook. He can cook. He loves kids and he wants a child, another child that doesn't have one. <laughs> Ready to be in labor. Give me a picture. I'll you know, send you a couple of pineapples. So, um, in that fifth month, I do see where you're going to be spending a lot of time with family and your friends. You and this man, and you and this man love to travel, honey. You're going to be going a lot of places together. You guys make great partners and commitment and great business partners if you guys want to head into that area also. Every thing is going to be spiritual around you. You're going to be thinking about quitting one of them jobs because things are going to feel good for you. You're going to feel safe because that's what this individual brings to the table. If you have to say goodbye to a position, uh, let it be the one that you have to travel the furthest for. That's what it's saying. But that dream job that you love to do, it may take a little time to hear from that, but I find it, I do finally see an offer on the table here, and I see commitment, and I see marriage. Oh, do I know you? Oh, well, all right, baby. You better work. It came like right when everything started, you're just going to start seeing everything going to a V. And then you're going to see one of these things you really like, and boom, this commitment going to come. He's going to already be coming in. You may be dealing with somebody else, too, but you ain't going to deal with them long. This man going to want it. You're going to want to be with him, too. He is so fond in love. And this is your last month. Girl, he loves to cook. Tell him I need a batch of brownies. <laughs> You know, for municipal purposes. <laughs> he said them brownies down here, we all going to jail. <laughs> I don't know you. <laughs> hey, where you get these brownies? I, I just did not. Well, this says it's not with your name. Anybody could have wrote that. Anybody. I don't know them. Well, they said they know you, I guess. I mean, anybody can know me. You know, anybody can say, just make up all kind of lies. But it's all good. I'm so thirsty, bitch. <laughs> okay, here's your last month. And I'm taking a break after this. I'll be back on Wednesday, uh, maybe Friday or Saturday with the tarot class. We're going to kick the Libra season off of that. We're going to be doing other signs, too. So you're going to be happy with this individual. He's going to bring you out of your loneliness. He's going to bring you out of your inner sadness. If something has bothered you for years, that that's going to be lifting with this individual. I also really do see more money. You're going to be stable with him. Things are not going to be perfect, but you will feel at a level where you are okay. You're going to feel on top of the world. You're going to be happy. You're going to be satisfied with status quo. And that's this thankfulness is in your cards. Still worried about money for some reason. Now you're worried about money for this damn wedding. What y'all trying to do? We'll see what's going on with this money in this wedding first. We, 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 hold on, hold on. We just in six months. Hold on, wait a minute. Just slow your roll. Jesus, Lord. Please. Wait a minute. What he done done to you? What he done done to my sugar? What he done done to my sugar? What the fuck? He taking my shot. Yeah. You finna be with him. Mm-hmm. Everyone's gonna support your relationship with him too. Everyone's gonna support your relationship. And there there could possibly be another baby in the picture. Uh where you guys move to is gonna be a home that you guys love. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But you're gonna be like babies. I don't know about no baby. <laughs> You was talking about babies, and you was like, oh, you know, we can move, but I don't know about no extra child, but that's going to come along the way. You're going to be committed with him. It's like you said, you're trying to figure out where you're going to get the money to marry this person. Or where you're going to get the money, or you're going to have enough to get. Why are you worried about money so much? And you have this man right here. Let him take the lead. You just do. You just used to being a single parent all the time, and even though you guys have been in a relationship a couple months or so, or five months or six months, you still have the, that same routine in your mind. Of, if anything pops up, I'm responsible. Chill. Do not worry about where the income's gonna come. Daddy gonna take care of that. Okay. You're going to be fine. People are going to support you. You're going to have somebody you're going to talk to that's going to help you out with whatever this is. And it may not even be a wedding. It could be some type of, we are going to, we, we're getting engaged, boy. Whatever it is, family will be there and you will be well freaking supported. You have my support. Stop worrying about money. Stop worrying about commitment. Everything is lining up September, October, November, December, and January. All the way, whatever these six months is, is lining up. And you're going to get what you want by the end of the day. You're going to end and uh, whatever is going on in your life currently with a new relationship and possibly two jobs on the side dick. My name is Belinda Bates. God bless.